I pray in the name of Jesus that every works of the enemy over every one of the Son of God through me, I command the works of that enemy over your life to paralyze in the name of Jesus. Every interest that the pit of hell have concerning you, I authoritatively declare, let it come to an end in the name of Jesus. I pray today that that grace that is called befitting grace, that will not disappoint you, receive it in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Glory. We are going to declare this. We are going to declare. The Lord is saying, He wants to put to an end wrong proverb in the life of people. Wrong proverbs. Wrong proverbs. Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 44. The book of Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 44 says, Behold, Everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee. Saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. This is a wrong word that I've been working in the life of a lot of people. As it has been with the mother, so it is with the son or the daughter. And this has been a lot of th problem happening in the life of people. You can trust the same problem in your parents to yourself. You discover that nothing is working in your family and nothing is working with you. As a matter of fact, if you're a woman, when you marry to your man, the husband, that happened to be the time you are carrying problems in the life of Dama, because you are the one that took problem of your family to the life of Dama. I discovered the man will be telling you, since you are married to this family, I don't know what is happening. But you will not be able to say it because you don't even know. But I pray today in the name of Jesus, every wrong proverb in the life of anyone here. I come and come to another in the name of Jesus. Proverb is the acceptable way of life in the life of people that this is the way it is and this is the way it must be. As a matter of fact, some people use proverb to express a particular truth. Proverb that is used against a lot of people is the truth and the fact is nobody must live head in the house. Their head must not be lifted up. And everyone in the family, including you, you are following that same pattern. You are going to declare. Say every wrong proverb, every wrong proverb. In, my in my family, working against my life. Against Can your voice be louder and shout it very loud? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Say every wrong proverb, every wrong proverb. In, my life, in my life, working against me. Say, so what are you waiting for? Enough is enough. As I'm clapping my hands in the name of Jesus, oh yeah, destroy by fire, destroy, aha, fire, destroy by fire, destroy by fire. You better shout it very loud and clear in the name of Jesus. Destroy by fire, 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 in form of like father, like son. In my life. Say every proverb. In form like daughter, like mother. In my life. If it's possible for what you see in your children to begin to work in the life of your own children and the one you met with your father. The same thing work together. Because they put all of them together. And say this proverb must not hang in this family. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Every negative aberration in your family. When you come to another in the name of Jesus. I command by the word of the Lord. Wrong proverb has become the old landmark. That a lot of people don't know. And they don't know how to escape from it. And because of that they say. You must not remove that old landmark. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 10 say. 
Remove not the whole landmark and enter not into the field of the fatherless. So there are a lot of people say, that old landmark, you must not remove it. What deal with your mother must be with you at that certain age. You must pass through that. The same thing that deal with your father must deal with you at that certain age. You must pass through it. And your children also are telling you what to know about your parents that they don't know. But you know. And that thing is not making a lot of mothers or a lot of fathers to live where. Their children will tell them, Mama, what is wrong with you? Every day of their life is a turn to a time of thinking. And they have secret tears. I pray. Every wrong proverb that make you to have secret tears. I command. Oh, you not to come to life. Oh my God, your amen is not sounding very loud. I command, let that proper come to an end in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whenever wrong proverb is accepted on any matter, this victim of wrong proverb will no longer have any convenient time. Every life of that time will be in this area. Bawaja. I will interpret. The inner sickness, the inward sickness will be fighting them. The problem from far away will be fighting them. And the sudden problem will be fighting them. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every wrong proverb that turned your life to the way it is that you don't lie. Oh, you come to an end in the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, I should tell somebody right now. And in Kelly Toba Loma Faye War, whosoever that say, I will show you how witchcraft attend to people. God will show them how mercy prevail in Alema Jesus. Oh my God. Whosoever that said to you that they will show you what the talking of what for them people in your family, that you will not be escaped from it. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, let God show them how mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Amen. That word that keep the rich men in your family and that centralize their interest over your life with your seven running men. Oh, yeah, let it come down in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The word of the Lord in the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 11 says Proverbs chapter 23 verse 11 says For their redeemer is mighty. Say my God is mighty. My God is mighty. Look at them. You are not shouting there as if you are fear. Can your voice be louder? Very loud. Ladies and gentlemen, let your voice be louder. My Say my redeemer is mighty. My is mighty. And he says something. He says, it shall bleed their my redeemer is mighty. Oloro mi Oloro alagbara ni. Ina to ngbe na mi ni. When Pastor Emmanuel was ministry, the Lord said to me, "Is the Lord that change change?" Somebody listen to me. When he was ascribing praises to God, so the Lord said to me, "My son, I am the Lord that change change." On the battle, ye but ya coco pada is the one that change time and season. If you are passing through the endless sorrow of your season, I come out with your several elements. Oh, yeah, let go take over. Hey. Amen. 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 In Jesus name. You have discovered that the same wrong thing in your parents is now in you. That's something that for your father done, it is something that is not working in you. You discover that none of your siblings do well. They don't have any better level. They don't even have anything to point to that is our achievement. The same thing that what that disguise and enter into your family, it is something that you are seeing in the life of your children. Poverty is seen in your parents and now you are seeing that in you. You have heard that your mother had delayed before your conception. And you are now seeing that stress in you. 
Preventure some. Their conception for the first child might be three years or four years. The same thing happened to you. Or you heard that when your mother conceived, it will take another year before you will, they will also, she will also have. And you are seeing that tracing you. None of your family members is positioned in a better place. Please, if you fall into that category, I want you to shout out him into this prayer. And you lift up your hands if you fall into that category. You discover that when you are meeting with your siblings, all of you meet together. You don't have good news to tell. The all you used to say is, hey, the same thing is what I'm facing. All of you face the same thing. As well, courtesy because now, you slept and you put your head on the, in the same place. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. They are all proper working against your life. With your loud amen. Oh, you come to an end in the name of Jesus. All your siblings are graduates. But none of your siblings have grew great to point to. No better achievement. Everything you see about every one of you is a sorrow. You are eating from hand to mouth. Nobody can do anything to rescue you. But the Lord is saying he will rescue you. It's a particular and collective problem and a proverb that come against you. I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let it come down in the name of Jesus. Oh good to Jabba. Buy it on Jam. One more curry lay. That word that fought your father and prevail. And is fighting the boys of your fathers. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, come to an end in the name of Jesus. Oh good to Jai. Yeah, I don't jam. One more curry lay. That word that prevail over your mother. And that is prevailing over the daughters of your family. Oh, you come to another in the name of Jesus. Oh, good those of Weber, but yeah, real near on a law. That word that say your father and your mother will not escape from that battle. Hey, I want this amen to be unending amen. I prophesy. Oh, you come to another in the name of Jesus. From today, from today. Every yoke that tie everyone in your family, including my family, that is not making some people to enjoy the benefits of God. I pray when I say break in the name of Jesus, you say break. But please, you have to do it as somebody that is ready for a change. Is that okay? Every yoke in your family that is saying that they will not allow any one of you to go. I prophesy. Oh, you are breaking the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, let it break, let it break. Hold the shot and break, 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 break. Aha! In the name of Jesus, let it break. Let it break, let it break. I like the way you are breaking it. I like the way you are breaking it. I like the way you are breaking it. In the name of Jesus. I like the way you are breaking it. In the name of Jesus. Aha! Let it break, let it break, let it break. Say, 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 say. Aha! Let it break, let it break. The power of God is coming, everyone now. Aha! Oh yeah! Let it break, let it break, let it break. Aha! Let it break, let it break, let it break. Aha, let it break in the name of Jesus. Every power fighting you, every year that tie your children to the mothers and the fathers in the house. Let it break, let it break, let it break. Aha, oh yeah, let it break. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. From today, anywhere you go that you need something, God will come out for you. The power that said they will not allow you to achieve. I prophesy. Oh, yeah, let the power come to an end. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, let it come to an end. Oh, good to buy one ring. The word that follow you to your marriage. I command in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, let that word come to an end. Every word that is fired at your business. That you want to have testimony over a particular thing in the place of your business, but the testimony is not coming. I pray in the name of Jesus, but I want this one amen to be louder. Oh, yeah, let that work come to an end. So shall it be. I pray for the cross to the center. Every word that is following you, saying that every of your effort, they will come against it. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let the owner of that work go for it in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout some hallelujah unto the Lord wants to go? Hallelujah. Let your voice be louder. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Say glory. Can you tell someone to say, it shall be permanent? What the Lord has just done for you. It shall be permanent. Tell that person, say no more sorrow. No more, sorrow. No more pain. No. Say no more agony. No. In the name of Jesus. No. Say no more stoppage. No. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, shall you say no more stoppage. No. In your life. No. Say your God will take over. No. Concerning your fears. No. In the name of Jesus. No. Say anything in you. No. That make you to be the enemy of yourself. No. Say from today. By the power of God and by the presence of the anointing, that thing shall come to an end. And you will get your liberty. Shout loud a hymn. Oh my God. Another loud a hymn. Another loud a hymn. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your son, Pastor. It must, I declare that the hand of God will touch your life. You will increase in grace, increase in anointing. Increase in power, increase in wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Glory. Shout out to him, man. By the grace of God, I want to welcome you to this glorious service. It's our healing our service. If you are joining us for the first time, can you wave your hands unto the Lord? God bless you in the name of Jesus. We pray that God Almighty will touch you anywhere you are. I think the ushers we want to reach out to you. Let the minister in charge get up there and reach out. God bless you. I declare that the peace of God will rest on your path. And the right of God will secure your life in the name of Jesus. If you are in the house, you have not given your life to Christ and you want to do so today. I will please beg that your life is given to God. There is no gain in sin. Every sinner live the life for other men to enjoy. Is that Okay. I remember many years ago, a particular lady that finished from uh, OAU, she came to God in me, and I said to her, do you remember a particular man you used to date, that used to take you to Abuja when you were in university? And I said, yes. Do you remember the man you used to work with a particular briefcase? I said, yes. I said, do you remember when that man had something to do with you, the man will clean himself, and we keep the handkerchief inside briefcase? Say yes. I said, that man don't use you away. This is the gain of every sinner. Gain of every sinner is a lie for other men to see. You will only see manifestation, but you will not manifest it. So if you want to give your life to Christ today, I will beg and I will plead to you to please come and give your life to God. I'll beg you today that you give your totality to God. That you give him all and he's ready to accept you. If you are still in the house, want to say, Lord, I need you in my life. Can you come forward? God bless you. 